Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today is the day 16 for our 40 gate firewall series. So in this video, we are going to understand DNS filtering, how exactly it works in 40 gate firewall. So in this video, I'm going to cover what is DNS filtering, why it is required, what is the difference between URL filtering and the DNS filtering, how we are going to configure DNS filtering in 40 gate firewall. Also, I'll tell you about the lab how we are going to perform it and what would be the result so it will be a explanation practical explanation in the lab with the 40 gate for dns filtering so i'll highly recommend you to please watch this video till the end because you will understand the filtering how exactly it works how we are going to configure it and what is the concept behind it and also i'll be illustrating with the lab as well because this will be helpful when you get a task to do this DNS filtering or if you go for any kind of interview as well. And also I'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a bit of from me. So without any further delay, let's get started. So friends, first of all, we'll understand what is DNS first and then we can understand why the filtering is required with the help of these two diagrams. Okay. So first of all, what is DNS? It's a domain name system. So basically what happens for an example, a user or an end user try to access www for an example, www.example.com. Okay. So first of all, what happens? First of all, the DNS query will be happening. Why the DNS query will be happening? To get the IP address of example.com. Okay. Because the PC cannot directly go to the server until and unless he gets the IP of it. So DNS will help to get the IP address of it. Okay. So whatever DNS that you have defined, for an example, you have defined 8.8.8.8. Okay. So it goes to DNS resolver. First of all, the traffic reaches to your 8.8.8.8 server, which is known as DNS resolver. If this DNS resolver is having the IP address of example.com, uh, it will get you the IP address and the re response will go to the end user. If he is not having that, then the traffic will go to the root server, basically DNS root servers. So the root server will give information about where the dot com is located basically. Okay. So where are those dot com uh, servers are located? So then this information will try to find the dot com TLDs and after that dot com will tell you where the example dot com is there. Okay. And he gets the IP address basically to this DNS resolver which is 8.8.8 .8 .8 .8 and this will send to the PC and the PC will uh, try to access this IP address. So this is the whole process of DNS, how exactly it works. Okay. Now why the filtering is required? We'll try to understand it now. So now friends will uh, try to understand how the filtering works. Okay. If you take a look at, at this diagram, there is an internal network and if they want to access the internet, It'll, the traffic will go through the 40 gate firewall to access the internet. Okay. Now user is not aware about which is a good domain. Okay. And what is a bad domain. Okay. So 40 gate will try to inspect the traffic on UDP 53, meaning that it actually inspect the DNS traffic. Okay. How exactly it does is there are few ways it does. There is a list of the domain what it has in his database in 40 OS and it basically uh, whenever the user try to access those list of the domains, it basically blocks that particular domain because those categories are basically the botnets or CNC. Okay. And we have some kind of category as well. So in the category, what mm, the 40 guard will categorize some of the domains like let's say games domain or news domains so let's say for an example if somebody is trying to access games.com so that domain 
or that particular traffic falls under game category so you will be having options to block that particular traffic or allow that particular traffic so you have that control on the category as well okay now you can define your own domain so for an example you have your own domain which you want to basically allow it so you can mention that particular domain for an example abc.com or xyz.com basically you want to allow some kind of domain you can basically allow that so filtering meaning that the fortigate firewall will try to inspect the traffic which is going through the udp traffic on port number 53 so inspecting the traffic of dns okay why it is required because user are not aware which is good or which is bad so fortigate or will help the user to recognize which website he has to go or which website he does not do, does not needs to go basically okay now if you try to understand let me rub this off and we'll try to understand what is url filtering the difference between url filtering and the dns filtering okay so for an example i'll give you an example of abc.com okay so www.abc.com okay now if you follow a dns filter okay you are going to entirely block the domain of abc.com but if you try to use url filtering so there are many pages inside this so for an example www.abc.com right slash contact us right or maybe something else so there are few pages inside that particular website if you try to do the dns filter everything will be blocked but if you try the url filtering you can block specifically okay now if you want to target some kind of domains which you don't want to allow in your organization you can certainly follow the dns filtering but if you have some kind of custom pages which needs to be blocked you can follow the url filtering so this is the basic difference between dns filter and the url filter okay now we'll understand that how we are going to configure dns filter in fortigate firewall also in the lab or in the monitor how exactly the fortigate firewall recognizes or blocks that particular traffic we'll see in the monitor as well okay so basically in the logs so let's get into the lab now so friends let's move on to the lab now so this is our lab and i'm using the same scenario what you have used in last lab okay so this will be our inside and this is our subnet this is our test machine where we are going to test it this is our local machine this is our mgmt it is connected to port 1 and this is outside which is connected to internet basically okay so we'll be configuring dns filtering over here and we'll see from the test machine whether the dns filtering is working or not okay so friends let's move on to the dashboard of fortigate so this is our dashboard okay now what we are going to do is we are going to configure the security profile which is nothing but a dns filter once you click on dns filter you will get a default dns filter you can use this one or else you can create it so we are going to create a new and we'll just name it as test dns okay and yeah you can use this redirect botnet and cnc block portal or you can enforce as well the safe search you rem you know like whenever you search anything on google or youtube or whatever the results that you are getting you can enforce that result as a safe one you will not be getting a violated or violence videos or something if somebody is searching for a violence videos you will not get it so you will be having a safe search so as this is a lab we are not going to activate right now okay instead we will be having lot of categories over here okay 
so today we, what we are going to do is we will be blocking sports category so let's let let's go to that sports category over here okay so we'll take a look and we'll click on redirect to block portal now where is the block portal this is the redirects black block portal this is use fortigard default or if you have any any kind of redirect um, portal ip address it will get redirected to that as well okay now you want to do some kind of domain that you want to block or you want to so for an example if i create simple www.google.com okay i can use this and i can basically block this as well so i'm not going to block anything but i'm just showing you the option what are the options that is available okay or else you can use any external block list okay so you if you have any kind of ip external ip block list you can do that as well so basically in this what happens is let's say you work for google.com or google okay now everyone will go to public ip address okay let's say the internal user it's not a good idea to connect to public ip address instead they can go to the private ip address right so once you specify the google.com ip address and you specify the private ip address so if the user is trying to go to google.com they will get a private ip address instead of public ip address for an example if the user inside setting they wants to connect to google.com they are not going to get the public ip address instead they are going to get a private ip address right so how you are going to do is you can create a new let's say the google is reachable on 142.1.1.1 okay you can specify the local ip address is this one and 255.255.255.0 okay something like this okay so if the internal user wants to connect to google.com they are going to get this ip address instead of this okay so you can use of this whenever you want to so i'm not using right now okay and uh, i'll be using the fortigard default and so basically let's say if somebody is accessing the dns request when a rating error occurs let's say a uh, google.com has no rating it okay so uh, every category has or every domain has some uh, ratings okay it is ranging from 1 to 5 okay if rating is not available whether you want to that uh, that particular traffic to allow it or deny it so you can specify accordingly so i'm not going to allow right now or log the response so if you turn it on everything will be logged basically so this is how you are going to create the policy of dns filter now what you have to do is you have to create a firewall policy okay so we are going to create a policy okay so we'll just name it as internet okay so the incoming would be port 2 outgoing will be port 3 so this is port 2 and port 3 right and it will be all i guess and the destination is also all okay and services is also all okay now flow based is uh, like inspect mode is flow based and we are going to NAT with the interface ip address and we are going to enable the NAT filtering oh sorry the dns filtering so test dns we are going to and we don't need any inspection right now and we are going to enable the policy that's all okay now we have basically enabled the policy now we are going to test the policy by logging into the test machine so friends we'll try to open the test machine and we'll try to access the google.com okay and we'll see whether it is accessible or not so google.com and we can see it is accessible okay now we'll try to access some of the website 
which is a sports category so for an example quick buds and we'll see whether it's working or not and we see that web page is already blocked right so if we go here and we'll try to show the logs okay forward logs now we can see it is utm blocked okay and if you are going to take a look at it so dns unscanned and it is blocked with the internet policy okay and the service was dns so dns is blocked over here if you try to look at this one okay the nat ip address and all the destination is 8.8 .8 .8 and port number is 53 so it is accessing or it is working to get the information about it at port number 53 itself so if the user is trying to access the quick bus it is a sports category and we have blocked it so that is the reason it is getting blocked okay so this is how the dns filtering works uh, this is what i wanted to cover in this video if you liked it uh, hit the like button if you have increased your knowledge put it at the comment if you have suggestion you can put on the comment or you can send me an email uh, or uh, send me an instagram message or facebook message wherever you want to send it thank you so much for watching and i'll request you to please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss a video from me i'll see you in the next thank you so much for watching